Hey, this is Tim Francis. It's Monday. That means it's time for me to give you my best guess at what I think needs to happen in the next week for our program, greatassistant.com, to march ever closer to our goal of reaching $1 million in sales. Goal number one. Right now, we are on the verge of having more customers than we can handle in our Great Assistant program. So this week, I'm gonna continue combing through the 45 applications that we've already received just last week. My hope is to get a short list of 10 to 15 applicants who might be able to come on as an onboarding consultant for us so that we can take on more entrepreneur clients. Last week, I realized that our hiring process needs to be flipped around 180 degrees so that it's more like a firefighter ride along where you get to experience what it's like to be a firefighter before you actually get hired. That way people can get a clear sense of what it is they'd be getting into if they work for us. And likewise, we're hoping to be able to see their reaction so that we can quickly tell if they're in over their heads or not. So this week, I need to create some kind of a mock experience for applicants to go through. So the goal for this week is to have 10 to 15 applicants selected with some kind of a ride along experience ready so I can put them together in the coming week or so. Goal number two. Right now, our website, ProfitFactory.com, loads far too slowly. And far too often, it's down, which is really, really frustrating. In the last week, I went inside the Ryan Levesque Mastermind, the Next Level Mastermind private group on Facebook, and asked for recommendations from other internet entrepreneurs on which services they were using for hosting. This last week, I also asked Sarah, my executive assistant, to quarterback the whole process. So I've been sending her all the referrals and recommendations we've been getting so she could sort through them all. And so this week, I wanna support Sarah as she is getting IT people together, doing all the quality testing and everything to make sure everything transfers over cleanly. So I'm hoping by the end of this week, we will be completely moved away from Bluehost towards someone else and completely away from shared hosting towards dedicated hosting, which my understanding is that should really speed up the load times and the reliability, the uptime of our website. Number three, over the last few episodes, you've heard me talking about Project X, which unfortunately I haven't been able to give a ton of detail because it's still a private exploration and negotiation that we're going through with our prospective partner. So all I can say is this week, I need to aggregate all our meeting notes, take together some of the different features that we've been discussing, and put it all into a version one of an agreement that I can share with this partner. So hopefully by the end of this week, we've got a version one on paper and we've been able to take a good look at it together. Number four, as you know, we've been selling about one spot in our great assistant program week in and week out, kind of like clockwork, which has been really great. It's been so nice for us to be able to tweak and refine our processes week in and week out, both front stage with all of our marketing, including our selling webinar, the email sequences and whatnot, and also backstage, onboarding our new entrepreneur clients, working with the assistants more and more and more. It's been really, really, really nice. So for this week, I'm just hoping we can stay the course, sell another spot and continue refining what we do. Number five, and there's two main things I'm really hoping to accomplish. First of all, I'm hoping to continue the trend of working out in the morning. This week, we're gonna up the ante some more and I'm hoping I can make it four times to the gym before noon. And the other area I really need to work on is I have to open a bunch of mail and pay off a bunch of speeding tickets. The last thing that I want is to be rushing off to the airport this upcoming Sunday, get pulled over by a cop for speeding, only to find I have unpaid speeding tickets who knows what happens then? Maybe my car gets impounded, I miss my flight, I can't drive while I'm in the US. Oh man, that would just be horrible. So I gotta make sure I get all those speeding tickets paid off this week. So that's my best guess at what needs to happen in the next five days of our business, Profit Factory, and specifically our program, greatassistant.com. Be sure to subscribe so you find out what actually happened in just a few days time. Every single Monday, I give you my best guess of what I think needs to happen to get our program, Great Assistant, ever closer to a million dollars in sales. Then on Friday, we take a look back and we say what actually happened in the messy, curveball-filled world of startup entrepreneurship. The good, the bad, the ugly, I share it all. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming episode and I'm cheering you on as you make this a great week. Onwards and upwards.